Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll discover an easy way to set up a failover server for your SFTP server, and in turn, build an SFTP active, passive, high availability cluster. Your primary SFTP server can experience planned or unplanned downtimes. This might be caused by a scheduled maintenance or an outright failure. While that server is down, all business operations that rely on it will also have to come to a halt. In many situations, such downtimes, especially if they stretch over extended periods, are simply unacceptable. A failover SFTP server serves as a backup that you can quickly activate if your primary server goes down. If you have one, you can reduce your downtime to just a couple of minutes instead of, say, hours or days. An active SFTP server coupled with a passive or failover server is usually known as an SFTP active passive high availability cluster. Let's now go through the steps of setting one up using two instances of Jscape MFT server. So here we are in our first instance of MFT server which serves as our primary server. So let's log in and go to the domains. Let's open this domain, and as you can see, we have uh, an SFTP service activated here. So again, this will serve as our primary server. Let's now go to our RDBMS. In our case, I'm using MySQL. So I'm going to create a new database. So as you can see, this is an empty database, so there are no tables yet. Later on, you'll see how we can populate that database with tables that would later on contain the configuration data for our Jscape MFT servers. So you might want to take note of the database name as well as the IP address of this MySQL server, as we'll be using that when we enter the JDBC URL in our uh, Jscape MFT server manager. So we're back on our Jscape MFT server manager for the primary server and we go to settings, data store and we're going to replace the current JDBC URL which points to the embedded H2 database that comes in with the default installation of Jscape MFT server. So let's just delete this and we enter the JDBC URL of uh, the MySQL database that we created earlier and we enter um, login credentials for our administrative user on MySQL. So now that we have those, we just click on create DB and as you can see the database is created. So what that action did was that it populated the empty database with tables that will be used to store the server configuration data. So we just click on OK and then we click on Apply. And now you have two options. You either click on Yes or you click No. For now, we're going to click Yes. What this is going to do is that it will now copy the existing configuration data from our built in H2 database to that MySQL database that we created earlier. Click yes and you'll be logged out you can simply log back in and then double check if the changes were actually applied and so everything looks good there and if we go to our mysql database and refresh this you'll see now that our mysql database that was previously empty now contains tables uh, which belong to jscape mft server so and this time, we're going to our second MFT server instance, which will serve as our failover server. So we log in. And if you look at the domains module, you'll see that it's empty. There are no domains yet. So this is a freshly installed Jscape MFT server instance. So to populate this with the settings of our primary database, we just go to settings and data store and again we're going to replace the current JDBC URL 
with the JDBC URL that we entered earlier in the primary server. So you have to make sure both your primary server and your secondary server should have should be pointing to the same JDBC URL. That's the key there. And of course, we need to enter the login credentials of our administrative user in our MySQL server. Okay, there. And notice that we're not going to click on the create DB anymore because we no longer need to create tables on the database. The database already has tables which we populated earlier. What we need to do now is to acquire uh, the settings that were stored in that newly created database. So what we need to do is click on apply and click no. Okay, earlier we clicked yes and that copied the server configuration data from our embedded H database to the MySQL database. That's not what we want to do this time. What we want to do is simply acquire the server configuration data. So this time we're just going to click no. Again, you'll be logged out. So you just log back in. And if you check on the domains, so remember that earlier uh, there was no domain yet. So now we have a domain. And if we navigate into the domain, you'll see that, okay, we now have an SFTP service in this particular instance. Uh, this is the same SFTP service on our primary server. Now, since this is a failover server, since this particular instance is a failover server, uh, make sure you stop this Jscape MFT service so that it won't be receiving any uploads, file uploads, or it won't be performing any triggers and so on. That's it. Now you know how to set up an SFTP active passive IFM.